Montana has two programs that are used to curb alcohol sales to underage persons. Alcohol Reward and Reminder is an educational program and Alcohol Sales Compliance Inspection Program is an enforcement program. The programs are somewhat similar, but they differ in very important ways. Alcohol Reward and Reminder is an educational survey program. It is conducted by private citizens and young looking persons of legal age, specifically 21 and 22 years old. The purpose of this program is to survey alcohol outlets and see if they are checking for IDs of any person who could be reasonably be younger than 35 years of age. If a server or seller under program criteria does not check for an ID, they are given a reminder card that has Montana's laws printed on it. This reminder helps the server or seller to remember what Montana's laws so they do not accidentally sell to an underage person. If they ID and refuse to sell alcohol based on the failure to provide an ID, our surveyors will present the card with a reward card that enters them into a quarterly drawing for a $100 gift card. They are also thanked for doing a great job by our surveyors. Because this program is educational and there is no possibility for anyone to break the law, a specific outlet performance is never reported. Statistics for this program are reported as aggregate data with warnings that the data is reliant on judgment calls of the surveyors. Alcohol Sales Compliance Inspections are law enforcement activities conducted by law enforcement officers working in conjunction with confidential informants. Confidential informants are 18 to 20 years of age, are tested to ensure that they look their age, and have no adverse law enforcement contact in the previous 24 months. CIs, working with undercover law enforcement officers, will attempt to purchase alcohol from servers and sellers. Servers and sellers who refuse to sell to our CIs will receive notification of their excellent performance by the state within a few weeks. Servers and sellers who illegally allow our CIs to purchase alcoholic beverages will be cited by law enforcement officers and will have to appear in court, pay fines, face possible jail time, and be liable to their own company discipline procedures, including possible termination. The Montana Alcoholic Beverage Control Division is notified of these citations and will contact the establishment in regards to them. Taken together, these programs are an important part of Montana's commitment to decrease the sales and instances of alcohol being sold or served to underage persons. The results are provided to the ABCD. At this point in time in our classroom education, I will choose one student to give their identification to another student and for that student to check their ID. After they check the ID, they will usually say yes, I would serve this individual. My next question is this. What is the expiration date of that ID? 95% of the time, nobody can tell me the expiration date of the ID, or I like to find a student who will be 21 this year, but is not 21 yet, and 75% of the time, the opposing student will say, yes, I would serve them, and I say, you just served a minor, and they say, how do you figure that? I say, well, they'll be 21 in December. You've got to check an identification closer. This is a 10-point checking ID card. There are 10 things I'm going to ask you to look at on an ID. Now you might be thinking, 10 things on an ID? I don't have time to look at 10 things on an ID. Trust me, you don't have time not to. If you serve a minor in this day, the ramifications, both civil and legal, can be huge. Number one, you want to look at the expiration date. If an ID is expired, it is not valid. Number two, their photograph. You want to hold the ID in your hand. When you look at the photo, you look straight across. Remember, it's much easier to look at somebody straight across this way than it is up and down, because the way somebody's eyes are will never, ever, ever change. Number three, the year of birth. Number four, the day of birth. Number five, the month of birth. Number six, does the age match up? Is the individual who are you're questioning if they are 21 years of age or older hand you an ID saying they are 27 years of age or older, you might ask for another piece of identification. Number seven, look at their height. Number eight, their weight. Number nine, their gender, male or female. Just trust me. Number 10, the state seal. Look for blurred images, something drawn on there. Is it the correct state seal? A partial state seal. I remember one time looking at a young man's ID and I realized the state seal was a hologram that said an official seal of authenticity. Very clever.